Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we're going to be talking about Battlefield 1. I am so excited for Battlefield 1. I've been a big fan of the Battlefield franchise since my first Battlefield game, which was Bad Company 2, and I've played every game that has released since then. The only game I was really disappointed by would be Hardline, not necessarily because it was a bad game or had bad mechanics, but I just wasn't into the cops and robbers theme. I really wanted to have a war game, which is what I come to expect from the Battlefield franchise. So I didn't play a whole lot of Hardline, but when they announced Battlefield 1 was coming out, I was so excited excited because they're going back to Battlefield's roots. It's going to be a dark, gritty war game, and I'm very excited for that. And what I wanted to do is make a video listing out five reasons why I'm most excited for Battlefield 1, and hopefully after hearing my reasoning, you guys can be more excited for the game as well. Let's start things off here with the biggest reason why I'm excited for Battlefield 1, and I also think this is the biggest reason why everybody seems to be excited for Battlefield 1, the setting. We're going back to World War 1, and I think that is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to go play a World War 1 game because that is a time period that we rarely see in video games. If you go back to an older war, typically it's going to be World War II. If it's not World War II, it's going to be Vietnam. If it's not Vietnam, it's probably some earlier war way before World War II. Rarely do we ever see anything in regards to World War I. It's almost like it's the forgotten war, especially in the video games medium. So I'm excited to go and play a World War I game. I'm excited to go through Europe as it was back in the day, right? World War I happened in 1914, right? Isn't that when it started? Like That's super long ago, so it's going to be cool to see all these iconic places and battles. I'm very excited for the setting. I think that's the biggest reason why people are excited for Battlefield 1. Don't get me wrong. I think people would be excited if Battlefield 1 was a modern game. If it was a modern game similar to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, I think people would still be excited. But I think they brought on a lot more people by going back to World War 1 because it's an amazing setting that I think a lot of people are excited to explore. The second reason why I'm excited for Battlefield 1 is of course going to be the weaponry. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The weapons of Battlefield 1 are going to be incredibly unique. Now, you may think of World War I and think to yourself, okay, so I'm picturing shotguns, I'm picturing bolt-action rifles. Is that all we're going to have? No, they're actually going to be going incredibly in-depth with the weaponry of Battlefield 1, and it's going to be somewhat unrealistic as a result. So we're going to be seeing a lot of weapon prototypes in Battlefield 1, stuff that was actually around back then, but stuff that didn't really see a lot of widespread use. And the reason why is because they wanted to have a wide variety of weaponry. They didn't want to have 30 different bolt-action rifles and have us go at it with those or a bunch of different shotguns and things of that nature. We're going to have a lot of different weapon prototypes. There's going to be a lot of full auto weapons, submachine guns, rifles, LMGs, and stuff like that, which is going to make the transition for people that maybe aren't so used to Battlefield a little bit easier having full auto weapons, while at the same time, there are going to be semi-automatic weapons, there are going to be full action weapons, which are going to be powerful, but they're not going to be as widespread as they actually were back in World War One. We're going to be seeing a lot of prototypes. It was a very interesting time in history because we're making that transition from an older style of warfare to a more modernized style of warfare and there's so many awesome weapon prototypes and different things that they tried out back then that we're going to be able to experience in Battlefield 1 and of course it's going to be very close quarters at some points. World War 1 was well known for trench warfare so we're going to have melee weapons like maces and shovels and flamethrowers there's going to be a wide variety of stuff to do in Battlefield 1 in regards to the weapons and I'm very excited for that. The third reason why I'm excited for Battlefield 1 is going to be the immersion. Now this is going to be a more subjective piece but hear me out on this one of the reasons why I love the Battlefield franchise and one of the reasons why I wasn't a giant fan of Hardline is the immersion that I get while playing a Battlefield game. The sounds in Battlefield are fantastic. If you turn on war tapes, it's amazing. The sound of the weapons, the sound of the vehicles, you got bombs going off in the distance, you have airplanes above you. It is so immersive with the sounds. We're going to have a weather system in Battlefield 1. There's going to be dynamic weather in this game so it's not going to be on a timer or anything like that but there's going to be fog rolling in on occasion while you're playing the game. There's going to be rain coming in on occasion while you're playing the game, and that's going to immerse you in the world even more. And of course, you're going to have all those epic moments that are only available in a sandbox shooter like Battlefield. I've talked about it in the past with some of my favorite memories of the Battlefield franchise that I didn't really get to have when I was playing Battlefield Hardline because it didn't feel the same because it was a cops and robbers game, would be like being in a helicopter, trying to repair it best I can while sitting in the back because I like to play engineer, having the helicopter actually get shot down, jumping out last second, being the
the sole survivor of that downed helicopter landing way behind enemy lines in the forest somewhere and then having to sneak past you know, wave after wave after wave of enemies and vehicles and stuff like that just to get back to safety to where my team is. I love moments like that. You can only find them in a sandbox shooter like Battlefield and I'm excited to have those moments again. I had a lot of them in Battlefield 4. I didn't have a ton in Hardline because it didn't feel the same being a cops and robbers game. So I'm excited to have those moments once again in Battlefield 1. And I think a lot of people, both new players as well as veteran players, are going to be very excited to have those moments happen once again once Battlefield 1 releases. The fourth reason why I'm excited for Battlefield 1 is going to be the challenges that are going to be available in Battlefield 1. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, Nero, every game has challenges. What do you mean? Well, I'm not talking about getting 10 headshots and unlocking a camo or anything like that. I'm talking about mastering the various aspects of Battlefield 1. There are going to be six classes in Battlefield 1, if you guys don't know. There's going to be the Assault class, the Support class, the Medic class, the Scout class, and if you're in a vehicle, there's going to be a Pilot class for Airborne vehicles and a Tanker class for Ground-based vehicles. It's going to be difficult to learn and master every one of these classes. Now, of course, we've seen them in the Battlefield franchise before, but it's going to be an entirely new game with new gadgets, new equipment, new weapons, and it's going to be difficult and fun to learn them again. I'm excited to try to master the various tanks that are going to be in this game. It's going to be difficult to learn them and get good with them. Some people think, well, I hop in a tank, suddenly I go on a 20 kill streak. That's not how it works. If you're bad in the tank, it's going to be very apparent that you're bad in the tank. One of my favorite things about the Battlefield franchise is getting matched up with a good pilot. How many times have you guys had that, right? Where like in Battlefield 4, you spawn inside a helicopter and your teammate gets you like five feet in the air, then crashes you into a building because it's their first time trying to fly a vehicle. It's difficult to fly in Battlefield. It's not easy, right? And so if you find somebody that was good at flying in a helicopter, it was like, wow, that guy's really good. Now, me personally, I was not an amazing pilot in Battlefield 4. I was all right in the transport choppers. I could get you from A to B, no problem. I could even get you from B back to A if you want me to. I was good with that. And if we had a chopper that had miniguns on the side, like I could hover you around an objective and always give you kind of a line of sight on the objective. But I wasn't a great pilot because it's very apparent if you have an amazing pilot. And I love games that have a giant skill ceiling like that. And that's what we're going to have in Battlefield 1 with the various vehicles and the classes. And I'm excited to try to master all of these things. The fifth reason I'm going to list off in this video, and there are many more reasons, but these are just like the top five reasons why I'm personally excited for Battlefield 1, is going to be the new experiences that we're going to have in this game. No match is going to feel the same. That is one of the staples of the Battlefield franchise, is that no match feels the same, especially if you're playing a 32 on 32 match with environmental destruction, dynamic weather, vehicles, soldiers running around like crazy. Every single match feels different, and unique and I'm so excited for that. I am so excited to get back into the Battlefield franchise, have these amazing experiences, get immersed within the world, try to complete the various challenges of the game, like trying to become the best freaking medic I can be. I love the medic class. It's always been my favorite in Battlefield. I don't care what weapon they give me. They could give me just a pistol. As long as I have health packs, I can revive my teammates. That's how I like to play Battlefield. I'm excited to become the best medic I can possibly be and I'm super excited to run around in the environment that is World War One because again, it's something that we rarely see in video games ever. It's just something we never see. And so the fact that we're going to be experiencing a World War One game, very excited for that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video. Those are my top five reasons why I personally am excited for Battlefield 1. And hopefully after hearing my explanation, some of you guys can become more excited for the game as well. I know a lot of people were on the hype train. I did a poll on Twitter yesterday asking you guys what are you guys most excited for in terms of upcoming shooters and Battlefield 1 was above and beyond the most anticipated shooter game of the ones that I listed. So a lot of people seem to be excited for this game. I am as well, and I wanted to give you guys a bunch of reasons as to why I'm excited for this game. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. How excited are you guys, and what aspect of Battlefield 1 are you most excited for? Let me know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.